Hey everyone, this is Heath, the Batman Geek, and welcome to day three of Thank You Video Blogging, Thank You Week 2006, or Thank You Vlogging Week 2006, whatever we kind of call it. And I guess I should know since I'm the one that kind of came up with the idea. But anyway, uh, there's a few other people kind of participating. Be sure to check out the links. Anybody that I know of, uh, definitely pass on the link. Hi Mike, hi Bev. Um, for day three, this is going to be another kind of a bizarre kind of post um, because person I want to thank, I don't even know this person's name. Um, I won't go into the, the long story. I did that before and I kind of didn't really like the long story. Uh, so I'm going to kind of give you the Reader's Digest or the abridged version. Basically, um, about four plus years ago, I was in a bad way. Uh, a lot of things kind of going on. We just bought a new house. I just changed jobs. Um, and when I say we bought a new house, it was we left, went from going from a trailer to a house. You know, there's part of me that still kind of misses the trailer because fish and wire and duct tape and you can do anything with a trailer. <laughs> House is not so much. Anyway, um, depression depression kind of runs in my family a little bit. I've struggled with that on and off throughout my life. Um, as I've gotten older, I've been able to deal with it a little bit better. But anyway, at this particular time in my life, I, I was I changed jobs. My son, our son was actually living with his natural father up in Chicago. Um, and it was just... Um, there was a lot of stress kind of going on, and I was having, a, I was working at Barnes and Noble bookstore. I was the cafe manager, and it was a, I was just in a bad way, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever way you want to say it, I was. And um, this particular, this one day, it had just been kind of building up and building up and building up, and it was early in the morning, and um, there was only this one other guy was there, and he comes in and he orders just coffee and. He's kind of making small talk, and I'm not really being engaging back to him because, you know, I think life sucks. Um, so the guy tells me, you know, he kind of looks at me for a minute, and he just says, um, you know, you look like something's wrong, you know. You know, what, you know is, there, is there something wrong? And for whatever reason, it was just, I just blurted out, God hates me. I mean, that's how I felt. I mean, I wasn't... Didn't wasn't saying that just because of reaction. I saw. I felt. I just said, God hates me, and and I said, I'm you know God just just effing hates me. And instead of doing what most people would do, myself included, under all normal circumstances, of just grabbing your coffee and going, yeah, have a nice day, and then leaving to yourself and going, freak. Instead, he took time to talk to me just for a few minutes. Uh, actually, it was about 20 minutes. Because he just asked me, you know, this, why do you think God hates you? And so, which is not like me at all. I just kind of poured out my heart, kind of like, uh, which is very bizarre for me because what I'm doing right here makes me uncomfortable. And um, I prefer much running through the streets with scissors and other stuff like that and, and, and being goofy. Um, so I poured out my, we talked and... It was neat because, you know, he didn't try to force anything in my throat. We just kind of talked. And he left, and I never really got a chance to say thank you because, you know, again, instead of doing what most of us would do, we'd just leave. He's, this guy saw someone who was in pain and, and hurting, and he took time just to talk to me. And that meant a lot to me. So, if about four plus years ago, um, you were in a Barnes & Noble in the morning in Cincinnati and some freak weirdo said, God hates me, and you took time to just talk to him for a few minutes and just listen, thank you. From the very bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Well, that's it for day three. You guys are probably thinking, uh, yeah, I'm thinking you are a freak, Heath. Well, I am. What can I say? Anyway, have a nice day. Bye.